Despite what some of my friends might say about the seemingly large ego that I might tend to exude sometimes, I've been spending the last year or so of my life working on becoming a more open-minded and receptive person, learning how to listen in to others' perspectives without barging in to pick apart their argument. This is an issue that has presented itself across various aspects of my life, but math has been one area in which developing this skill has actually helped me make a new friend. You see, during my first semester here at OU, and my first math class here at OU, I was averaging quite well on all of our homeworks and tests, and I thought I could get by the entire semester without asking for help, all on my own. However, a few months in, I started struggling on the homework, and I didn't want to let my ego get the best of me. So, I approached the girl that I sat next to in math class to see if she wanted to work on her homeworks together, and as it turned out, she said yes. The thing is, in class, I always paid very close attention, but I never really took notes over what was being written on the board. I just had a conceptual understanding of everything. My friend was the exact opposite, though. She always took notes of what the professor said word for word, including all the formulas and derivations that he put up on the whiteboard. But apart from that, she didn't pay attention and would go back to scrolling on her phone afterwards. So when it came time for our homework sessions, I tried to approach our discussions with a sense of patience so that we could calmly and diligently piece together her notes and get started on the homework. Now, as the semester is coming to an end and our final is approaching, we spend our homework sessions solving a problem while the other one of us watches. Having this second eye has helped us catch each other's mistakes, but we've also learned about ways in which the other person is approaching a problem in a way that we didn't think of ourselves. And thus, we've gotten a better understanding of how one might approach these problems from the other's perspective. Outside of math class, however, there have been many other meaningful scenarios which have helped me better understand people of differing backgrounds and viewpoints. For one, I've had a bias against religious individuals for quite a while now, partially because of the fact that I'm not religious and I also don't have any faith in a higher power. To me, it also seems quite far-fetched that people would believe in religions such as Christianity when Christianity, for one, has been used historically as a excuse for acts of terror and additionally for acts of homophobia, which as a gay person doesn't pair quite well. But on a recent trip to Colorado with my dad, we were invited to dinner with a family friend and Upon arrival, I ended up in conversation with the friend's brother, who was a priest. Upon finding this out, I was quite surprised because the entire night, he had actually been hitting his vape, which I imagine was against any Christian code of conduct. But I decided to set my skepticism inside, and we ended up in conversation for almost an hour and a half, talking about Christianity and what his religion meant to him. Following the conversation, I began to get an idea of how much I had ostracized the idea of engaging in any meaningful relationship with Christians or any religious people for that matter. In my head, I'd only really thought about the negative impacts of Christianity or all the bad things about religion, and I never really given much consideration to the ways in which Christianity and religion had motivated people to act for the better in ways that I had truly appreciated. Upon leaving Colorado and arriving home, I took it upon myself to learn a bit more about religion and to read into it on my own time. I started reading books such as Dostoevsky's The Brothers Karamazov and C.S. Lewis's Mere Christianity, all in hopes of opening up more thinking ground for me to explore my relationship with religion. The religion and faith can provide valuable insight into someone's life. There are some more nuanced experiences which have also contributed to my ability to empathize with friends and strangers. Specifically, growing up, I was never really introduced to Chinese cuisine, partially due to the fact that I'm Iranian and we ate a bunch of Iranian food, but also due to the fact that in America, there seemed to be a harmful stigma around non-Western traditions and cultures, including Asian foods. The only real image I'd gotten of Asian foods was when friends would bring some leftovers for lunch. But it was only in high school when I finally found myself with a pretty diverse set of friends, and I actually got to host uh, two students from South Korea and China at home. Recently, I took a trip to Boston where I visited one of those friends, and I got to try Chinese hot pot for the first time, which has come to be one of my favorite dishes I've ever had. Upon letting my friend know about how much I enjoyed this Chinese dish, he took me around to explore some more Chinese foods in Boston, and I got to try dishes such as glass noodles, um, cold noodles, nuclear chicken, and even quail egg. Upon returning home to Oklahoma, I've taken it upon myself to look for some more of these hidden treasures nearby so that I can find some good Chinese food in Oklahoma as well. In general, in hindsight, there have been many valuable personal experiences that have been a sole result of, my, of stepping outside of my comfort zone. 
Some have been more meaningful than others, such as my conversation with the priest. But overall, my efforts of opening myself up to others' perspective has had an enormous impact on my life and is a lesson that I have really appreciated from composition class this semester.